Hello everyone, welcome back to Saiyan Squabbles. I am yours truly, Papa Ping Pong, here to bring you another deck profile featuring an old meta deck that is now not meta, but I still think is very good. And I've been having a lot of, lot of fun with this. A lot more fun than I thought I was going to, to be honest. But without further ado, let's get into Yellow Broly. So everyone knows, well most people who've been playing this game, even up until uh, set 8, know what this guy can do. He's pretty monstrous. He's a very, very good leader, topping all the time, but he did get an errata on the backside, which we're going to get into. So anyways, his auto, when this card attacks, you may choose one card from your life, add it to your hand. If you do, draw one card. So that's very powerful self-awakening, which I still think is relevant today, but you're plussing two off of this card swing, which is crazy. And then Awaken, if your life's at two or less, or two or less, four or less, you may choose your energy, switch them to active mode, and flip this card over. And you're going to be Awakening turn two or three with this deck most of the time. But then we got Broly, the Awakened Threat. When this card attacks, draw one card. Active main, once per turn, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and switch to rest mode. And his other active main, which did get an errata, choose one card from your life, add it to your hand, choose this card or one of your Broly BR cards and switch them to active mode. So that was a pretty big hit to this deck, but I still think, in the archetype, this is a very powerful leader. And very, uh, very, I think this is a, still a tier 2 deck. Tier 1, no, unfortunately not anymore. Well, fortunately, because I think everyone's getting tired of seeing this leader, but... Yeah, so... We're gonna get into that, and, um... Yeah, so, very powerful leader. And we're gonna be abusing both effects with this deck, so... Let's get the boring stuff out of the way like normal. Four Botama Super Combos. Life is at four or less. Draw one card. Negates. We got four Flying Nimbus. Uh, negate the attack. Pitch one yellow card. If you do, your opponent can only attack one more battle card for the duration of the turn. One Time Magic. Just uh, mostly, if anything, has like triple attack like the Android 21 or anything like that. Let's get rid of it. Or the Secret Rare uh, for Surge Piccolo. Three annulas of check lands. If you already have a green, yellow, multicolor card in your energy, this ignores energy exhaust. And now we're getting into the actual, uh, more important stuff about the deck. So we got run two Planet Vegetas. This is just a searcher. This deck does draw a crap ton, but every once in a while you're maybe wanting a little more oomph in your hand. So Planet Vegeta allows you to search out any Saiyan with energy cost four or less. Pretty simple. Um, also, quick note, I would run the Goku Super Combos, I just don't have them, which, honestly, I probably should get them. But if you don't have them, run those instead, because they can be searched with Planet Vegeta, and you're at 4 life pretty quickly anyways. So then we got Godly Destruction Whis. You could switch this out with the Godly Kami if you wanted to, or the Cunnings. The Cunnings work as well, I just like these slightly more than the Cunnings. But Auto, when you play this card, draw one card. And then auto once per turn. During your opponent's turn, uh, during, when your opponent switches an energy to active mode using a non-awakened skill during their turn, you choose up to one of your opponent's energy and place them in the drop area. This is just the scare for blue decks, so they don't extend plays. Then we got four Chi Lai, Frieza four soldier. When you play this card, draw one card, and then for one green and one colorless, Choose up to one green Freeze's army card with energy cost of two or less from your deck and play it, then shuffle your deck. You're not going to be using that very often, but that's still uh, pretty handy to have. So then we got, now going into our Broly stuff, the main meat of the deck. We got Broly preparing for battle. Auto, when you play this card, choose, uh, when you play this card from your hand or drop area, choose between one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of one and KO it. Some generic spot removal, but that uh, auto is almost never going to come up. Then active main for one yellow. If your leader card is a yellow Burly BR, and you return this card to its owner's hand, choose up to one Burly BR with energy cost of four from your hand, negate that card's auto skill for the duration of the turn, then play it. So that's going to be pretty good for the Burly we're going to get into for an alternative way to play it. And we do run some arrival in here, so this is going to be important to bounce back into your hand for some fodder. Now we run four Broly Paralyzing Presence. 
So, I really enjoy this guy. He's got a permanent. If the total number of cards in rest mode between you and your opponent, and your opponent are three or more, reduce the energy cost card in your hand by two. So he's pretty much always going to be a two cost. But just in case your opponent, do, you guys do not have three more cards in rest mode, you can play this and then use the effect, and you basically play him for two that way as well. But active main, once per turn, choose one, uh, one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, and that card can't be switched to active mode until the end of your opponent's next turn. Some pretty easy early lock, which really helps against aggressive decks, like um, Boo. It's honestly really nice. You can keep their beaters in rest mode and Turles and stuff if they really wanted to. But then, next part of the chain, we run 4 Broly, Demonic Intimidation. So he's X Evolve for 2 for a yellow Broly BR with energy cost of 4. Permanent, if the total number of cards in rest mode between you and your opponent are 6 or more. Reduce energy cost card in your hand by 3, so he becomes a 4 cost. And auto, when you play this card, you can only activate skills and cards that are green or yellow in other colors for the duration of the turn. Uh, we only run one red card in this deck, which I'm sure most of you guys can guess, so that effect is almost never going to matter. <laughs> Active main once per turn. Choose one card from your hand and place in your drop area. Choose one of your opponent's cards in rest mode. That card can't be switched to active mode until the end of your opponent's next turn. That is a really good effect, because this deck draws an insane amount of cards especially with the effect because you can switch your leader to active mode to draw an additional card when he attacks and the so leaving something in rest mode is just super strong i got two of these on board and was able to um lock my opponent for a little bit which is really nice but yeah we do not run the nine drops i don't think you need them there's not really enough space for them um we also do not run bardock's raider's war cry However, when they get reprinted in the anniversary box, I'd probably run two or three of them in this deck. But anyways, next Broly chain, uh, Broly and the Broly chain, run six Super Saiyan Broly all out assault. So he's a rival green yellow for a green and a yellow. And when you play this card or when this card is switched to active mode by a skill during your turn, you can either choose one uh, battle card with an energy cost greater or equal to your opponent's current energy and KO it. Or draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's cards and switch it to rest mode. This is still such a powerful card in the meta, and I think this is what keeps the Broly deck at tier 2. Because not only are you play them, you can draw something and then switch something to rest mode. Or, you know, KO something greater than the energy, which is super good against successor. Uh, even even non-successor, even like U7 and stuff, where they never have more energy than they do battle cards. Their 6 drops and stuff, you can get rid of pretty easily. Which makes this pretty pretty relevant now. Um, this could even do pretty well against uh, Majin Buu. But, you know, just not the 6-drop, unfortunately. But what's great is you can arrival him, attack, and then use your leader effect, switch him to active mode, and use one of his effects an additional time. So you can draw two cards off of him if you really wanted to. But yeah, this guy is pretty great. Pretty nice threat. So we got three Wailing Spirits. This is basically... Just to fill up some multicolor spots. If you guys think there are other green, yellow multicolors that are better, go for it. Put them in instead. I like Wailing Spirit. So he's basically the same as the one drop green Broly in the sense that you choose one Broly BR card with energy cost of four from your hand, with original energy cost of four from your hand, negate its auto skill and for the duration of the turn, then play it. So basically, if your opponent and you don't have all the cards in rest mode. So then trying to keep up the theme, we got two Paragus of Forebearer. He's a 2 drop 5k. Active battle, if your leader card is a yellow Broly BR card and you place this card into owner's drop area, from your combo area, draw one card. So you would not get the combo power from this card, but you're able to cycle through it and see your pieces faster. Which is really nice to place this guy for arrival. Arrival all out assault, then you can place this guy in your drop area to draw an additional card. So, pretty efficient. Then we got... A little bit of spice. Three Bardock the Enlightened. Every almost every turn, you're going to be switching something during your in your opponent's battle area to rest mode, due to your leader effect. And the Enlightened's effect is when your opponent's one of your opponent's cards is switched to rest mode by one of your skill, draw one card. And it is once per turn, but it's on either turn. And with the arrival Burly, you can do it again. Getting two of these guys on board, you're drawing an additional two cards during your turn, and more than likely an additional two cards during your opponent's turn as well, which is pretty great. We run one Swift Retaliation Cooler. Counter, counter. If your leader card is yellow, negate the counter and play this card. Auto. When you play this card, draw one card. Then if you have six or more cards in rest mode, 
draw one more card. And he's then a 15k swing after that. Then for counterplays, we run the obvious Cold Bloodlust. Still a super powerful card, super meta relevant. Fury card is a Freeze's Army. The card, a uh, battle card played has all of its skills negated for the duration of the turn. Very powerful. A must of in any <laughs> uh, Freeze's Army deck. We got two Chompa the Trickster. Uh, you guys know what this does. I run this in pretty much any deck that has multicolor and yellow. He becomes a two cost if you have a multicolor in hand. You, when you play him, you choose something, uh, ignoring barrier, a battle card ignoring barrier, such as rest mode, and if it's your opponent's turn, draw one card. And this does proc the enlightened effect because it's an auto. Unlike this next card, Crusher Ball, the card being played is played in rest mode instead. This does not switch something to rest mode, so this does not proc the enlightened, but it comes in play. So that is an important distinction for rulings, but we run one Crusher Ball. And last but not least, Hidden Power E Supreme Kai. Just gives something double strike during the combo phase, if you combo with it. So that's gonna do it for the deck profile. Quick, simple. This deck is really, really fun. The only things I'd add, like I said, are the Bardox from the draft box when they come out during the anniversary box, the reprints. I'd add like two or three, because this deck does lack any um, like double strikes or anything. And that might be part of what you need. But just be cautious with that, because that can get clunky in hand. And the only other thing I'd add is Salex, if you guys have Salex. But yeah, that's going to do it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. See ya!